Hey, it's Steve here. I just thought I'd let you see that got it all working with uh, the 9X, and this is the uh, $30 DSM2 DSM X radio that plugs in here. And got all the programming done on here. This is the uh, MCPX Collective Pitch little super duper micro helicopter. And I'll just show you really quick that that it works. And I uh, actually got throttle hold here. And you can see the. Everything working great, just like uh, just like with the DX7 here, <laughs> which is what 375 bucks or something like that. This is like 50. Uh, I thought I'd also show off real quick that um, just doing a power check here, quick power check. These put out the American ones put out about 200 milliwatts, so plenty of transmit power there, and then. This dude is actually pretty comparable to that, if not, maybe even a little bit more powerful. So, we're getting at least 200 milliwatts out of there. And I'll show some even more fun. On this guy, you can see if I can get the RF detector here at the same time. There we go. On this guy, you can actually, well, it's kind of a nuisance, actually. You, you can change DSMX and DSM2 modes, but it won't... Uh, Storm in the model memory, you have to do it manually back here. And it remembers the last helicopter it bound to, so right now it's in regular DSM2 mode. If you click this three times, it'll actually switch to the different uh, DSM2 and DSMX modes with their different frame speeds of 11 and 22 milliseconds. So this is probably DSMX. 11 millisecond or something like that and then this is that's the DM at DSMX 22 millisecond sound and the uh, amplitude signature on it actually has kind of a funky wavy sound to it and there is your 11 millisecond DSMX so and there's back to plain old DSM-2 and you actually see the helicopter bind back when it comes back so I'll do that again switch through them these are your two DSMX modes okay now I'm going to switch back back to DSM-2 boom <laughs> it makes the connection so anyway fun stuff